Welcome back. Learn causative verbs. Make and get. These causative verbs are a little bit tricky, but don't worry. I will explain everything very clearly. Most English learners get confused when they use these causative verbs in their conversation. Let's get started. Let's start the causative verb with make. Look at this example. I washed the clothes yesterday. These are two ladies. This is the first lady. She says, I washed the clothes yesterday. She doesn't want to wash the clothes today. But the second lady is forcing her. The second lady says, you have to wash the clothes. But the first lady is ignoring. The first lady doesn't want to wash the clothes because she washed the clothes yesterday. The second lady is forcing the first lady to wash the clothes. So we use make causative verbs when someone is forcing. Here's the structure. Subject, that's mean I, we, you, they, he, she, or it. Plus make causative verb plus first form of the verb plus object. Look at this example. She makes me wash the clothes. Did you notice? We use S with make because she is a singular person. That's why we use S. You know, we always use S, he, she, or it. Subject plus make plus verb first form plus object. Second example. She made me wash the clothes. That's me. She forced me. I don't want to wash the clothes. But the second person, she forced me to do this. Third example. She will make me wash the clothes. In the second sentence, we use made because we were talking about past. That's why we use second form of make. Important note, we use make when the first person is forcing another person to do something. Look at these more examples for your practice. They make you cry. I will make him wash the dishes. He made me sad. Now let's learn the use of cat causative verb. Look at this structure. Subject plus helping verb according to tense plus cat plus object plus verb third form. Concentrate on this first example. I will get your room cleaned. There is another example. These are two ladies. These are talking. This is the first lady. She says, Hey, please, could you please clean my room? She says to the second lady. But the second lady, she says, No, I am busy right now. I cannot clean your room. But the second lady says, Okay, but I will get your room cleaned. Because she talked to the another third person. That's me. the third person will clean this room. That's me. she requested to another person. Subject I plus helping work according to tenses plus cat plus object plus verb third form cleaned. Let's do more examples for your practice. Note, we use get when we request to someone to do something or when we convince to someone to do something. Example, I got your room cleaned. Got, we use got in this sentence because we were talking about past. Got is a second form of get. Always remember, use third form with get causative verb. Second example, she will get you beaten. Third example, he got her bag stolen. Now, it's time to take a short quiz. I will give you two questions and you have to find the right answers. Let's get started. Question number one, I made him blank the room. Which one should we use? A. Clean. B. Cleaned. I give you five seconds. One, two, three, four. 
5. Time's up. The right answer is clean. I made him clean the room. I told you before, we always use first form with the causative verb make. Question number 2. He got his brother blank. Which one should we use? A. Kidnap. B. Kidnapped. I give you 5 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The right answer is kidnapped because we always use third form with the get causative verb. I hope you understood how to use these causative